and Metabolic Accelerator, guys. As always, we are on the new set. Um, if you have no clue what is going on, it just came out on the PBE. You can play on the test server pbe.leagueoflegends.com to make an account. And I'm going to explain, not everything of course, this game, but I'm going to explain everything that is relevant to my board. So you will know what is going on if you watch this. Slam in. Gain one component anvil after each player combat. If there are no items on your bench other than consumables, gain 2 XP. That is freaking busted. I'll just take this. It's freaking busted, man. This story is not yet finished. Yes. Okay, my team is kind of trash, though. At the end of the player, player combat, right? After each player combat, gain a component anvil. I did not gain a component anvil, did I? <laughs> I did, I did not gain a component anvil. <laughs> I did not gain a component. I think I just got one component, right? Okay, we slam the items, guys. Like a babus. I'll take it. We get 2 XP every turn. I just gotta slam the best items I can. The Yasuo is going crazy. Do I just make 30 here? Or do I keep these pairs? I think, I, I think I'll just sell, man. I'll, I'll go full money. Oh, already an encounter. That's the new set mechanic, guys. Kindred offers you a temporary item, sure. Which lasts three rounds, sure. Kubuko two star. Kubuko two star, sure. Can we get something good here? Some traits that I need. Heavenly, altruist. Altruist again. Riven, bruiser. Bruiser is good. What else do we get? We're level four. Altruist. Sure. Oh, we almost have fortune, by the way. We almost have fortune. We almost have fortune gamble going on, huh? Do we actually go for it, though? Because I'm not really gonna lose, right? <clears throat> I'm not really gonna lose, guys. I'm not gonna lose fights if I have my items slammed, right? We're on PvE. People are dizzy. This is the new uh, cash-out trade, guys. But let me just explain the traits that I'm playing right now. I have Altruist. Um, Altruists, Altruists heal the lowest health ally for 15% of damage they deal. Your team gains armor and magic resistance. Very simple. No one is promised I want to make 30 guys. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get the other um, dude for like 15 minutes. Do I want to level here? I don't think so. I think I just want to make interest rate. Let's go. We're getting bonus XP and interest rate. We're good. We're good to go, guys. We're good to go. This Yasuo is happy as well. Not too shabby. We want Duelist, but we're not getting Duelist. Uh, Duelist would give the Yasuo attack speed. Uh, basically, Ginsu's right. He gets more attack speed the more they attack. Up to 12 stacks. Um, bruisers just always, like always, Bruisers. 100 health to the whole team and bruisers gain additional percentage health and then we have Yasuo which just has a passive that makes him deal bonus magic damage according to his resistances so it scales with resistances the bonus magic damage while he is shielded and his active just gives him a shield that also scales with um with uh, resistances and he also gains he also deals a little bit of magic damage to the enemies when he uses his shield, yeah. So that is our main guy right now, the Yasuo. That's why we really want Duelist on him. He has the on-hit damage. Trying to get that. And then we're trying to just go fast time. We're on Skull Puddle. Portals are still here. Encounters are in the game as well at random times. Which are, again, you just saw what it did, right? It gave us some free stuff. Everyone gets the same stuff, as always. I kind of want a belt there, but he takes it. I'm gonna go for this. I'm probably going physical damage this game. I go... Okay, so what I'm trying to play is Irelia, guys. Irelia is probably the coolest looking thing ever in any game. Okay, that's kind of... That's kind of a... That's kind of a... Overstatement. Ooh. You think we can play her instead of Yasuo? She should be better. She should be straight up an upgrade. Especially with these items. And don't, rem don't, don't forget to slam the items. Is there anything I can play here? Mythic? Heavenly? Nope. Okay. Um, so we just went to the next best thing. After the Yasuo, she has also on-hit damage. 
She heals when she ults. She heals herself. And then she creates this zone around her. And everyone that attacks her outside of that zone deals less damage to her, okay? And then she has on-hit damage for those seconds as well. So she's also on-hit, so Ginsu's is pretty nice here early game. Diana's attacks deal 240 bonus magic damage. That's a crazy amount. Now, of course, I have a lot of AP. I have a lot of AP, but still, that's a crazy freaking amount. Now we're getting the duelists. But I don't think it's worth. What is she? She's a sage. What does sage do? Combat start. Allies in the front two rows gain Omnivamp. Allies in the back two rows gain ability power. Okay. So we would like to play sage here for some Omnivamp, but it's fine. Can I get the full win streak? That's my big question. I need to position maybe a little bit better to get that. It seems like people stayed level 4. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. What is this? Fated Crest. I, again, I don't want to go too deep into what my enemies are playing. Because then I think the scope gets too high. Like, I, I don't want to confuse anybody. I'm just going to focus on explaining the traits that I'm playing. Like I always do at the start of PvE. I th and people are usually happy with this, right? On YouTube. And I think people are happy with this on... Um, oh yeah, Z Sage. Uh, people are happy with this on Twitch as well, right guys? Like I explained uh, the traits that we're looking at right now that we're playing. This Diana is a busted man. Look at this. I mean, I just have good items for her, right? This is pretty good. Exalted Invoker Dragon Lord. That's gonna be sick. Play some Dragon Lord action. I'm gonna play some Sage. After this, after we level up, might as well level up right now. Zyra. Okay, very good, very good. Very good. So, um... Now we have Altruist, okay. So, Sage, we already read. Dragonlord is very cool. You saw this little AoE that just happened? That is what Dragonlord does. Actually, it's player combat, right? It's player combat. After each player combat, I didn't have to pop that item there. I, I can just keep the items on the bench. It's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna... A little bit annoying because I'm dumb as freak, but yeah, I should have read that. Because I want the QSS, I think. I don't hate that. QSS. Seems pretty good on her. Uh, story Weaver. Do we have a Story Weaver? We do, in fact, have a Story Weaver. Very nice. We summon this... This is, a, this is the summoner trait. We summon this Kale. With three Story Weaver, and with three Story Weaver, we can choose one upgrade. Damaging attacks and abilities shred and sunder enemies hit for three seconds. I'll take this. I'll take this. The Kale will have... Give us armor and magic pen. Because I don't think I'm gonna play Kale late game. And I want armor and magic pen. And as you can see, the AoE, right? That hits the board after like 10 seconds there. The pew, That is Dragon Lord. The dragon shoots a freaking lightning or whatever, and it deals 5% true damage to all the enemies, 5% max health true damage, and gives all our units 20% attack speed. Yeah. And then the deeper you go, the more the true damage will go. Fine Vintage. Completed items left on bench. Left on your bench for one round, transform into support items. Brother. Brother. Brother, I have the... What the frick do you want from me? Exiles. I like game specialist like a freaking Babus, man. It's a fast nine. Like a freaking Babusi, guys. Like a Babusi. Okay, I mean, I'm leveling here for sure. Fortune. Uh, altruist. Do I have anything that I can play, guys? Arcanist. Missed here. All right, cool, 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 cool. We're, we're building a decent team, I would say. It's okay. Hey, man, you have a three star. You have two three stars. A uh, brother, man. Come on, man. Chill out. Hogma is pretty cool. He shoots these artilleries. Okay, Loki, I win those. No, I win those. We win those. We win those. Heal, heal like a mother trucker. No. Okay, frick it. You gang up on him. You gang up on the rat. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Shield. Do something, man. <laughs> what the frick was that? It was so close, man. 
<laughs> it was so freaking close. Yeah, the Diana seems busted, right? Diana seems crazy, guys. I like Diana. Freak, that's crazy. Okay, so this is an Arcanist. So that's good. We can play this instead of Nico. That's a four cost Arcanist right there. That's a Behemoth. I don't think we have a Behemoth. There's Fortune. We could play Fortune if we think we're gonna lost streak, but we don't. We, we're not gonna lost streak, guys. We're not gonna lost streak, guys. So where's the point, right? We're not gonna freaking lost streak. We'll play Fortune another game where we hit it early game, right? That's when it's gonna pop off. It's the new economy trait. I know you're excited about that, but if it's if you're not gonna lost streak, you're not gonna lost streak. Like I'm not sure if I'm gonna lost streak. Like, I'm, I'm literally gonna make myself way weaker just to... I'm gonna lose health just to then eventually win a fight, lose all my cash out juice, and then I basically just... Like, what happens? I, I just don't even get a good cash out. Like, it's just... I get, like, four gold. Just, it's just silly, guys. Come on. Now. This... See, this stage, you can always see at the top when the encounter happens. This stage, there is no encounter. Just fully random. There's ni like 90 different encounters. Always a champion shows up and does something. And does something for everybody, right? Okay, this is cool. So again, we are looking for Irelia. We're looking to try to play Irelia. Cool. Very good. Very based. Riven 2, good tank. Bruiser. I think I need this trash. This guy is kind of good. Like, I need a behemoth, though. I don't want to just play him, but he's a four cost. He's very nice. Uh, we'll have to pop this item on somebody. I don't think you can give Kale items. Yeah, you can. Uh, we'll have to pop this item on somebody. I mean, how bad is BT? It's not even that bad, right? It's not even that bad. Okay, let's go. Good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Again, Skull Puddle, Late Game Specialist, and Slammin. I'm going straight to level 10, guys. We're skipping level 9. We don't give a frick. We are skipping level 8 and 9. The animation for Dragon Lord is beautiful, guys. Just pay attention to the next fight. It's so good. Like, pay attention to the corners and stuff, or to the edges of the arena as well. Looks so clean, guys. Very well done to whoever uh, animated that. What a freaking Babus, guys. Babus. Okay. Oh, that's the encounters that happened this game. They cannot happen again, I believe, right? Mythic. Mythic Invoker. Every flower blooms to be seen. I mean, don't I just level here? Yeah. Oh, I have Mythic. Nice. Are you melee? Oh, you're ranged? Why? Wait, what? It, it, it's freaking Lilia, man. Okay, it's Lilia. Like, she's a melee champion in League of Legends. Well, she's like pseudo melee, right? She's like me medium range. It's very fun to play. <clears throat> okay, this is looking good. Look, look at the animation, you see? It's so beautiful. The freaking Dragon Lord thing is based. Okay, this... Uh, we're definitely giving the Diana the best possible items to enable her as an item holder here. They're probably not going to be the best possible items for her as an actual carry 3-star, because the leaves are very squishy. But as long as I can protect her, it's looking good right now. Story Beaver, Arcanist... I mean, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't mind playing Zoe. What, what is her skill again? Oh yeah, it's the... So, it's a little bit complicated. So, she shoots a missile and it ricochets to a nearby enemy. And the more kills she gets in that combat, the more times it's going to ricochet, you know? So, if you go 3-star Zoe, she can probably just... Bam, 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 you know? Destroy everything. Yeah? Yeah? Bard. Bard. Oh, a second girl? Second Di Diana? Uh, Hodge. Where is this? Zyra? Bro, this Zyra looks bad. Like, 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 <laughs> she looks bad. You feel me, guys? Oh, she's looking bad, though. You feel me, guys? Like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean, guys? Oh, man, she's a baddie, is what I'm saying. She looks great. 
if the designer of Riot is listening to this. No, 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 I'm not flaming you. I'm giving you a, an ample comp compliment. And you know what? I'm gonna use this later after my stream. You feel me, man? I'll keep it a buck fifty with you, man. I'll use this after my stream. I'll keep it a buck. We gotta slam the items. Um, I do not wanna... So I assume, right, it doesn't say it in the augment. After each player combat, if there are no items on your bench, other than consumables, gain 2 XP. It doesn't say it, but I assume you have to put the items on units on your board, not just on a random unit on your bench, right? That's what I assume. Otherwise, that kind of makes it much easier, right? That kind of makes the augment... I mean, honestly, it's just 2 XP, though, so it's not really OP. I wouldn't say the augment is OP, but yeah. You know what I'm saying. Whenever you use a reforger, completed items are reforged into random artifacts instead. But I don't have any reforgers. <laughs> it's gonna give me two, but I don't have any others, so it's not worth, I think. Gain a masterwork upgrade and two component anvils. Okay, I know you like this, right? Oh, this is so dank. But okay, guys, I know you like this, but you know what I like? You know what I like, guys? Stick to the plan. We have a plan? Here I come. I like a radiant freaking. Oh, they're my items. I, I I thought I got scammed out of my items. I like a Radiant Ginsu's on freaking Irelia. What do you think, guys? The more attack speed she had, she has, the more uh, damage she gets. Zaya is bugged. Can't be two star. No, no, no. We're playing Irelia. Don't worry. I'm just playing Zaya right now because it's probably okay. No. Like like what else do I do? Brother Man thinks Rageblade is good on Zaya. Yeah, man. That's what I think. Or I'm just using her as a item holder because she's a 5 cost. Freaking dumb mother trucker. Um, offers to set you on a win streak or a loss streak. Nah, just give me 3 gold. Uh, give me 3 gold. I don't need that. Because I'm... A, like, next turn, I'm going fast. Like, I'm going level 9. No? Yeah, next turn, I'm going level 9. So I, I don't give a freak about this lady. You can go freak yourself. Okay, hold up, guys. Hold up. So what are we doing, though? I have so many ranged units. Okay, so I want... Um, I want Infinity Edge, by the way. I want Infinity Edge. I want, like, a Giant Slayer or something. Okay, so we go level 9 next turn. I, I lied, by the way. I lied. I'm not skipping level 9. Okay, honestly, should I just skip level 9? No, I can't, because I didn't put my Lost Streak to 6. I should have put my Lost Streak to 6 then. Nah, I I'm not gonna skip level 9. I don't wanna risk it, right? We're in such a good position, let's not risk it. You never know, man. Maybe someone hits Exodia or something. And then I just lose the game, that wouldn't be fun. Um, so what I want here is GS, hopefully. I have... I don't need Last Whisper because I have Kale. Okay. okay, so we have fully equipped... Um, I really... I'm not sure if that's going to be the best build, but she's a ranged auto attacker that has no attack speed. But the more attack speed she gets, the more attack damage she gets. Now, is Ginsu's going to be good? I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, I freaking we 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 skip those, we skip those. Nah, I'm skipping it. I don't give a frick. Nah, I'm skipping it, man. We skip those. We skip those. We skip those. Dragon Lord three. Lissandra farms items. Yeah, yeah, she's the new Kiana. Yep. Okay, what's gonna be our level 9 board? So, what is Irelia? What, what is Irelia? What are her traits, guys? Does anyone know? What are her traits? 
Her traits are just dualist, right? Okay. So we want some dualist action on her as well. I think I'll just play Lee Sin and call it a day. Yeah. Just play Lee Sin, just two dualists. I'm gonna play a bunch of legendaries. And we wanna play three storyteller. Or story weaver, excuse me. Another encounter, as you see here. Udir grants you a support item which lasts for three rounds. Only three rounds, okay? Uh, it, do it really doesn't matter, man. You need to pick it up over there. Just kind of move. Okay, so, um... Let me just think about this, guys. So we want to play Story Story Weaver so we can keep the Kale with the armor and magic pen the entire game. I like that. I want to keep her. So I want to play three Story Weavers. So I have Irelia. I have uh, the Vukong or something. Is that Vukong? Or what is that? The four costs right there. The weird looking four costs. Maybe it's Galio. It's Galio. Okay. So he's a bruiser, so we want to play bruiser. Is there a five cost bruiser? Probably not. Um, I don't know what these guys do, man. But I, I think I want to play two behemoth. That's probably good. Behemoths gain increased armor and magic resistance. Whenever a behemoth dies, the nearest behemoth gains 50% more for five seconds. Okay, that seems good. Just go frontline with these guys. Lee Sin, another Lee Sin. Sure, two duelist. Two cost storyteller bruiser. Nah. Don't think I want to play a two cost, man. But I might have to, huh? I need to play another storyteller. Or story weaver, yeah. We, we keep mixing it up, huh? It's so easy to mix up. Who is the two cost story weaver? It's Riven, right? Okay, honestly, frig it. I'll just play Riven. No Udir then. Okay, I'll just play Riven. Okay, we already have Riven, so we don't need to mark her. Oh my god, I got an Irelia. I got an Irelia from the drop. I got an Irelia from the drop, guys. Leveling here, like what the frick am I doing? Of course, I'm just leveling. This is how dragons battle. We have a plan. Oh, hey. guys, alarm! What the frick are we doing? I'll just make a blue buff. I feel like blue buff is gonna be dank. I'll just make one. I don't give a frick. I think blue buff is gonna be big. Okay, how is Irelia doing? She's shooting her freaking blades. Like a babus. How much damage does she deal? 6.9k. 6.9k 6, 6, 6 as a 1 star. That doesn't seem bad to me. Hello? Galio? Galio is freaking back. 4 Story Weaver, Dragon Lord. Who else is Story Weaver? This thing. Stick to the plan. We have a plan. Oh, freaking three star, three star guy. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, hello, 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 help, help, help. Guys, quick! What the frick do I do? Frick this guy? Okay, Loki, I'm winning though. I'm winning. Okay, no, I'm not winning, but it's fine, it's fine. What the frick do I do? I'm dizzy as frick. I have two duelist. I still have three dragon lord. I don't really need three dragon lord. It's 30% attack speed for the whole team though. Not even that bad. Wait, what do you mean you can't two-star it? I just two-star the Rakan. Okay, is there anything useless I'm playing? This guy, right? Hello? 
Okay, did I really not find a single Irelia? Guys, I didn't find a single Irelia, by the way. <laughs> Do, are you good with blue buff, man? No. Are you good with blue buff? No. Guys, is anyone good with blue buff? Freaking Rakan? Like a Babus? Pro I mean, it's not even that bad. Rakan is a damage dealer. What are Rakan's traits? Altruist, right? And that's also Riven, no? Is that Riven? Are we looking at Riven there? Is that Riven's image? Image. Is that Riven's image? I think it is, right? Yes. That's good. Okay, we keep Riven. She's Story Weaver. She, she has three traits? That's really good. Okay, we're using all of her traits. Give me that BT, bro. Give me that BT on the Lee Sin. He's good, right? He shoots, he kicks a unit, and then um, he doesn't kick the unit. He creates a ghost copy and then uses his League of Legends kick on the ghost copy. So the ghost is going to go through enemies and hit them and deal bonus damage to them. Am I just selling this guy? Bro, please give me my three star. Like, bro, I need Irelia. Hello? Okay, I, I stop it. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, seriously though, man. Stop it, please. How can I find 15 of everything but only two Irelias, man? I have a g radiant item on her, man. Stop it. Look how beautiful she is, guys. She just stands in the corner. She has four range. She's a ranged physical damage dealer. And she just sends her blades around. And every time it hits an enemy, it weaves around. And every time it hits an enemy, she gets a Ginsu stack. But it doesn't speed up her attack speed or anything. That's her auto attack. But it gives her bonus attack damage, right? Attack speed gets converted. I'm not buying this, guys. I'm not buying this. I'm not buying this. I I'm not buying this. Or oh, actually, okay, I'm I am buying it. But like, I'm, I'm scared to buy it because someone said it's bugged. That's why I'm scared to buy it. Like, someone said it's bugged. It doesn't work. Like, you can't three-star it. That's why I didn't want to buy it. So now we gave up on three-star Lissandra, you know? Because of peer pressure from Twitch chat. GG, I guess. Nice, guys. Thank you, guys. Am I playing a behemoth? No, I'm not, right? Shouldn't I play a behemoth? It's freaking Udir, right? It's freaking Udir, or no? Is it not Udir? Yes, so why the frick didn't I buy Udir? Am I dumb as frick? Guys, I need a two-star Irelia. This is just messed up right now. This is messy. Why am I farming gold? Who's farming gold? Guys, Lee Sin is cool, no? Lee Sin is cool. He kicks around. He does a lot of damage if you position him well. If you position him nicely in the corner. And Azir creates a little sand soldier. Guys, I don't get it. I'm, I'm selling, I'm selling Zaya. I'm selling them. I'm selling these idiots. Oh, nice. I win the game for free, GG. Deserved. Deserved. You know it's deserved. Deserved. You know it's deserved. It's freaking deserved. It's well deserved, by the way. It's very well deserved. Uh, is she giving us any traits or is she just completely fake? Porcelain? She's just completely fake. I'm getting rid of her. What the frick is this? <laughs> Guys, you know, this was gonna be about Irelia, how beautiful she is. They put so much effort into the skill. And I couldn't even two-star it! Skibidi babidi boo! No, seriously though, guys. It's kinda messed up. That's kinda yucky. The frick is this? Also, isn't this fake? Dragon Lord though? Three Dragon Lord, not even that bad. Oh, I finally two-starred her, man. But it's too late, man. Now the video is about Lee Sin one-shotting everything. Oh man, thanks for nothing, guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> thanks for nothing. Just kidding. Okay, what are our items? Do we equip this guy a little bit? 
He's a two star, why not? Two star legendary. Why the frick not, man? He's pretty based. Um, so he summons a laser that deals damage to everyone it hits, okay? Which is pretty cool. She's crazy, guys. She's beautiful, man. Nah, I like this. Radiant Ginsu Zyrelia. Nah, I like this. I like this, guys. I like this. I'm not sure if that's the best build, Ginsu's. It might just be full damage. It might be double Ginsu's. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, I got Udyr. I got Udyr. Okay, is anyone playing Rakan and Zaya? Do you see Rakan and Zaya anywhere? No, right? I think I can 3-star them. Potentially. If it's not bugged. If it's not freaking bugged. I'll try my best. Because, um, so Zaya is a ranged unit. So this is a very cool uh, unit, right? They're both together. And if you put them in the front rows, front two rows, they will be Rakan. And if you put them in the back, they will be Zaya. And the Zaya is a ranged damage dealer, physical. And Rakan is not a tank. He's usually a tank. But he actually jumps in, uses his W. But it doesn't CC them. It doesn't knock them up. It deals a lot of AoE magic damage around him. Which is very good. So blue buff, uh, probably not blue buff. Okay, I just won. GG deserved. Uh, you probably don't want blue buff on him. But uh, the Bloodthirster and the Crown Guard. Crown Guard is probably his best item. Or one of his best items, right? It's like a melee... Magic bruiser carry ish. Not bad, guys. That was a little bit. I was a little bit dizzy, but it worked in the end. Not too bad. I'm not sure if I could have even three starred Zaya and Rakan if they are bugged right now, but I was able to two star them. So maybe they're only bugged a couple games. The Lee Sin is definitely just crazy. Like if you put him in the in the middle and he shoots the the backline with the with the ghost. Yeah, it's yeah. Subscribe and the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. I'll see you next time.